averaging six points, 6.8 rebounds this year, but the big can also shoot the three, so you have to protect her on the perimeter. She shoots 40% from three-point range, has nailed 66 three-pointers on the year, had 21 points, 11 rebounds in their win here the other day against Notre Dame. And in the middle, the big girl, the other big girl, number 15, Reagan Beers. 6'4", sophomore from Littleton, Colorado, at a Valor Christian High School where she was a McDonald's High School All-American, earned All-American and All-Pac-12 honors this year, and she's fifth in the Pac-12 in scoring and rebounding. 17.5 points, 10.3 rebounds, has 16 double-doubles on the year, including 18 points, 13 boards in their win against Notre Dame. Leads the Pac-12 in field goal percentage at 67% and is 10th in rebound in the block shots. Before we get the Gamecocks starting lineup, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Carolina Basketball from Learfield. The home of the Gamecocks. 107.5 The Game. WNKT-FM, Eastover, Columbia. A cumulus media station. Oregon State will be in the black uniforms, orange numbers, orange and white trim down the side of the uniform. They'll be moving from right to left as we look at them from across the official scorers table here at MVP Arena. For Coach Don Staley's Gamecocks, the number one seed coming in at 35-0. and And it's the usual lineup that we saw most of the regular season. Point guard, number 25, Raven Johnson, 5'8", redshirt sophomore from Atlanta. Out of Westlake High School, where she was a McDonald's High School All-American, earned second-team All-SEC honors this year. 8.2 points, 5.3 rebounds, third in the SEC with 4.8 assists per contest. Another guard, number zero, Tahina Palpal, 5'9", senior from Oceanside, California. Out of La Jolla Country Day, where she was a McDonald's High School All-American. Transfer from Oregon, where she spent three years in her first year with the Gamecocks. She earns AP Honorable Mention All-American honors and second-team All-SEC honors. 11.1 points, 2.7 rebounds, ninth in the SEC with 3.8 assists per contest. Leads the SEC in three-point shooting at 48%. Another guard, number 23, is Breezy Hall, the six-foot junior from Dayton, Ohio, at a Wayne High School where she was a McDonald's High School All-American. 9.4 points, three rebounds per contest. Back in the starting lineup, at a forward, number 21 is Chloe Kitt, 6'2", sophomore from Oviedo, Florida, at a DME Academy, 9.5 points, 6.1 rebounds per contest. And in the middle, as always, number 10, Camila Cardoso, 6'7", senior from Brazil, former McDonald's High School All-American, earned AP Second Team All-American honors, First Team All-SEC honors this year, is also the SEC Defensive Player of the Year. 14.2 points, ranked sixth in the SEC with 9.4 rebounds per contest, leads the SEC in blocks per game, has 77 of those total. Gamecocks in the traditional home white uniforms today. Garnet numbers trimmed in black, the garnet and black trim down the side of the uniform, They'll be moving from left to right. Packed house here, smattering of fans from a lot of different places. Of course, uh, you see the usual garnet and black from folks who have made their way from the south up here to upstate New York and some black and orange of Oregon State. And you see a lot of other fans from the other parts of the uh, bracket here, some Iowa fans that are interested in the game and just a lot of fans in general uh, from the northeast that came here to watch some good basketball. You see a smattering of UConn fans as well as they had hoped that UConn would be sent to this regional, but not to be. They were shipped out to Portland uh, this year, but still enjoying some good basketball. Both teams huddled up around their respective benches as we get you set here. The winner is on to the Final Four. Oregon State looking for their second ever trip. The Gamecocks looking for their fourth in a row and sixth in program history, sixth in the last 10 years. Gamecocks take to the floor. It'll be Camilla Cardoso to the jump circle. The jump circle here, with the March Madness logo. Waiting for TV to give us permission to play. Final four this year in Cleveland. April 5th and 7th. The 5th for the semifinals and 7th for the national championship. The two bigs to the jump circle. Cardoso for the Gamecocks. Beers for Oregon State and Reagan Beers, who broke her nose about a week or so ago, wears a big mask to protect her nose. Ball's in the air, tip is controlled by the Gamecocks, and we're underway. Carolina with the ball moving left to right. Here we go in the Elite Eight. Chloe Kitts coming out of the paint right side. Man-to-man defense, it looks like, for Oregon State. Left side, Pow Pow, doesn't pull the trigger on the three. Dump it down low to Camilla. Spins to her left, shoots, can't bank it in, too strong. And rebound to Oregon State. So we got all we want inside, just didn't finish on the first possession. Oregon State with the basketball quickly. Across the timeline, here's Donovan Hunter. Dribbling right against Raven Johnson in the man-to-man. They run their weave up top. Then Olhoffen around a screen to her right. Drives into the lane. Cut off on the low block. Back up top. Shot clock down to 11. Feed it down to Beers. Beers on the baseline. Jumper is up and in. And Reagan Beers, the 6'4 sophomore with the bucket. And that'll start the scoring. Oregon State leads it 2-0. Just underway here. 
Gamecocks on their second possession. Dump it halfway down the lane to Camilla. Back out to Breezy. Breezy top of the circle. Drives. Pull up jumper in the lane. is That may have been partially blocked. It'll go out of bounds it, to Carolina. Yep, it was indeed blocked by one of the Beavers. Oregon State known for its defense. Showing it here early. Feed it into Camilla, left baseline, back to Raven. Raven on the dribble to the top of the circle. Shot clock under 10 now. Got to get something going. Raven around a screen. Drives into the lane. Pull up jumper well off the mark. Camilla had the rebound, and then it's off her hands and taken away by Oregon State. So a slow start offensively for the Gamecocks. Here come the Beavers. Van Allhoffen in transition. Missed the layup in traffic, and Gamecocks almost threw away the rebound, but able to pick it up. Here's Raven Johnson. Gamecocks down 2-0. Breezy Hall drives into the lane, in traffic, puts it high off the glass. It's in. She's fouled. Count the basket. Chance for a three-point play. Breezy Hall will start the scoring for South Carolina. First foul on either team. And Reagan Beers, the big post player, picks up the foul. Would love to get her in foul trouble early. Averaging a double-double. Here's Breezy at the line. Only a 69% foul shooter for the junior from Ohio. And the follow-up free throw is good. And the Gamecocks have their first lead at 3-2. to two. Eight and a half minutes to play in the opening quarter. And we tie it up in the backcourt as Raven Johnson went in for the steal on the trap with Chloe Kitts. Tied up and Donovan Hunter. Possession arrow favors Oregon State, so they'll get it again. But good defense there in the backcourt as the Gamecocks throw a little full-court pressure here on the Beavers. Triggered into Hunter. Again, the Gamecocks trapping on the ball. Now bringing it up is Van Olhoffen. She'll bring it up one-on-one with Breezy Hall. Gets it across. Around a screen. Lost the handle. Gamecocks diving on top of it. Another held ball will be called. Possession to South Carolina. Well, Breezy Hall, after the ball handler fell down for Oregon State, dove over the top of her to make sure the Gamecocks could at least secure it. And it turns out to be a heady play since the possession arrow favors South Carolina. So Carolina ball leading 3-2. to two, Almost two minutes gone by here in the opening quarter. Raven Johnson across the timeline passes right to Breezy Breezy on the right wing back up top to Pow Pow work it left side to Chloe Kitts hand off to Raven on the wing down low Camilla halfway down the lane working against Beers trying to knife her way in puts it up too strong and another rebound to the Beavers Gamecocks have gotten it inside twice and haven't been able to finish got to do a better job there against these bigs from Oregon State still 3-2 to two, but Oregon State with the basketball Hunter working on Raven Johnson passes left to A.J. Marat. Work it right side. Three ball away by Gardner. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Pow Pow, and the Gamecocks have it. Trying to run the floor. Pow Pow, across the timeline. Stop and go dribble. Now she'll settle into the half court. Pow Pow, spots up for three up top. Back rimmed it, no good. Rebound, Cardoso, and the Gamecocks have it. Pow Pow had a good look, couldn't knock it down. She's 48% from that range. That was her first attempt. 12 on the shot clock here. Here's Raven Johnson to Chloe Kitts. Kitts looking inside, puts on the floor, has her shot blocked, and a foul underneath on the Beavers, I believe. Second foul on Oregon State. Gamecox will have it, still leading 3-2, to two, but not shooting it well. One out of six. They say the foul was on the shot of Chloe Kitts. That was a late whistle, but the Gamecocks will take it as it will put Kitts at the line. You see, they put the foul on. Put the foul on A.J. Marat. It was her first. So Chloe at the strike for a pair. It was a very late whistle. I think that's what threw everybody. As Chloe took the shot, there was a rebound. Then we heard the whistle. So here's Kitts into the starting lineup once again. First free throw is good to make it 4-2. to two. One more time for the sophomore. Second free throw, got them both. And a little 5-0 run for the Gamecocks, who now lead it 5-2. Gamecocks with some more pressure in the backcourt. They get it into Beers. Gamecocks trying to double-team her, able to get it off to Hunter. Hunter will get it across the right side to Marat. Marat on the right baseline, cut off by Cardoso. Feeds it to Van Allhoffen. Now back up top to Beers. Swing it back on the near side to Marat. Shot clock halfway down. Dribbles to the top of the circle, guarded by Pow Pow. Works it right to Van Olhoffen. Guarded by Breezy Hall. Shot clock under 10. Into the far corner it goes. Back on the right wing to the post player Gardner. Trying to drive ball. Knocked out of her hands. It's loose. Gamecocks come out of there with it. Raven Johnson will bring it across. Gets it to Breezy Hall left wing. Couldn't get the transition offense going. Here's Pow Pow. 
Around a screen from Cardoso. Drives in the lane. Pull up jumper. Back rims it no good. Rebound to Oregon State. Goodness, Gamecocks really struggling from the floor here. Just one out of seven, and they're getting good looks. Just nothing going down here in the early going. It's still 5-2 to two Gamecocks with 6.20 to play. Defeated inside to Beers, and a foul on Pow Pow. Coming over on the health defense to try to deny that shot. First foul on Pow Pow, first on the Gamecocks, and that'll send Reagan Beers to the line for a pair, the 6'4 sophomore from Littleton, Colorado. So Beers, the All-American, All-Pac-12 center, averaging 17.5 points, 10.3 rebounds. Hits the first free throw, only a 62% foul shooter, but hits the first one there, and the lead is cut 5-3. She has all three of their points. Second free throw. Rolls in, and the lead is cut to one at five to four. Beavers will go to their bench. Lily Hansford check in, the check in. 6'2 sophomore guard who leads the Pac-12 in three-point shooting. Gamecocks with the basketball. Lead is just one. Shot's not going down here early for South Carolina, even though they're getting good looks. Here's Breezy Hall. Passes right around the perimeter right side to Raven. Raven around a screen. Looking inside. Gets it down low to Camilla. And we almost threw it away. Here's Pow Pow up top. Down to Camilla. Halfway down the lane, spins to her left, puts it high off the glass and in. Camilla Cardoso with a tough finish. And the Gamecocks lead 7-4. First points for Camilla, needed that one to go. 5.45 to play here in the opening quarter. Long jumper won't go down from the top of the arc for the Beavers. Gamecocks get the rebound, they want to run. Lead is three. Quickly down the floor, here's Raven. Camilla inside. Spins to her left, back to her right, to Raven. Near corner three, rolls off the rim, no good. Raven had a wide open look, couldn't knock it down. She's a 35% three-point shooter. But that one wouldn't go down, and South Carolina really struggling from the floor here. Two for nine overall. Here comes Van Allhoffen, dribbling left. Back up top it comes to Gardner. Back to Van Allhoffen, left wing. Gamecocks stay in the man-to-man. Shot clock at 10. Van Allhoffen on the drive, right side. Spins back to her right, needs some help. Feeds it back up top, ball knocked loose, but they recover. Three seconds to shoot it. Long three for Hunter. It's a glass ball. It's a shot clock violation. Either way, the Gamecocks get it. Quickly down the floor. Here's Pow Pow right wing. Open look for three. Bang, got it. Three-pointer. Tahina Pow Pow, her 82nd of the year, and the Gamecocks lead 10-4. to four. Good transition look there. Raven across court pass to Pow Pow, and she knocks down the three to give the Gamecocks a six-point lead. And a steal by Raven Johnson. Took it away from the point guard, Hunter. One-on-one. -on -one. Now it's one-on-two. She finds Chloe Kitts, but Kitts misses the layup. Gets her own rebound, but she was standing out of bounds. Missed opportunity there as we didn't finish off the turnover. It'll be Oregon State basketball when we come back. 4.25 to play here in the first quarter. South Carolina leading Oregon State 10-4. Pow Pow, two apiece for Chloe Kitts and Camilla Cardoso. All four points for Oregon State, call, uh, scored by Reagan Beers. It was a slow start for both teams offensively. Let's see who can get hot. Gamecox got a three-pointer a moment ago by Tahina Pow Pow to give them to the six-point lead. And then missed an opportunity at a transition layup as Chloe Kitts missed from short range and then tried to get the rebound, but it stepped on the baseline out of bounds as she was coming in from out of bounds. It'll be Oregon State basketball as play resumes. The winner on to the Final Four next week in Cleveland. Just the fourth ever meeting between the two schools. Third time they've met in the NCAA tournament. As you might guess, not too many trips. Uh, well, haven't been any trips for Dallas, Oregon, and no trips for them to Columbia, South Carolina. All the meetings on neutral sites. Gamecocks go to their bench a little bit during that timeout. Raven Johnson stays on the floor with Breezy Hall, but checking in for the first time is freshman Malaysia Fulwiley, the rookie from Keenan High School in Columbia, named to the SEC All-Freshman Team. Ashlyn Watkins in off the bench. The sophomore from Columbia earned second team All-SEC. And junior Saniya Fagan, third-year player out of Ellenwood, Georgia, on the floor for the Gamecocks. Oregon State basketball as play resumes, moving right to left in their black uniforms with orange numbers. On the near side, it comes Van Allhoffen, guarded by Raven Johnson. On the floor now with the dribble. Bounce pass in the lane, and going to get a foul on Saniya Fagan, trying to deny that post-entry pass. First foul on Fagan, second on the Gamecocks. That was a little... 
iffy, we'll say that. We're going to call it that close, then watch out, everybody. Oregon State will bring it in baseline left side. Hunter gets it into Van Allhoffen. Long arcing shot is good on a long two. Makes it 10 to 6 as Van Allhoffen gets her first points. Four minutes to play in the first quarter. Gamecocks lead is cut to four. Here's Raven Johnson up top. Look at left side to full Wiley for her first touch. The freshman did not play well in the Sweet 16 game. See how she does here. Fagan drives in the lane. Pull up jumper is good. Tania Fagan off the bench with her first points, and the Gamecocks lead is six again at 12 to six. Here come the Beavers, quickly down the floor. Hunter, guarded by Full Wiley in the man-to-man, -man, picks up the dribble, passes left to Gardner, fumbles but recovers, shot clock halfway down. Back to Hunter, trying to drive into the lane, floats it underneath the basket to Beers. Beers puts it up, it's an air ball, rebound Full Wiley, and the Gamecocks have it. Gamecocks want to run. Full Wiley into the lane, floats it up, no good, stick back won't go, Watkins fighting for the rebound, tries to go up, will pull it back out, and Raven Johnson comes out of there with it. Athletic play just to keep that possession alive for Ashlyn Watkins. Couldn't get the tip in to go in, shot clock under 10 here. Here's Full Wiley left wing, gets a screen from Watkins, goes the other way on the baseline, floats it high off the glass and in. Full Wiley with her first points, and the Gamecocks lead 14-6. Largest lead of eight points with 2.50 to play in the opening quarter. Here comes Hunter the other way, guarded by Full Wiley, stabbing at the basketball. Drives past her, bounce pass in the lane, knocked away. Now they deliver to Van Allhoffen in the near corner. Van Allhoffen puts it on the floor against Raven, drives across the lane, jumper up, no good, but they're going to get Raven for a foul. And that'll send Van Allhoffen to the line. Raven thought she got a clean block, but must have got the rip. Third foul in the game, Cox, first on Raven. We'll go to the bench and get the other Johnson in. Tessa, the freshman from Albertville, Minnesota, she'll pick up Raven. And at the free throw line, Talia Van Allhoffen, the Richard Jr. from Tri-Cities, Washington. Two-time All-Pac-12 selection. And second in the Pac-12 in free throw shooting at 89%. She is automatic. And she hits the first one there. Gives her three points. Van Allhoffen, over 1,000 points in her career. Second free throw, also nothing but net. And the lead is trimmed 14 to 7. They'll make it 14 to 8 as she makes them both. Up top, Ashlyn Watkins. Near side, Breezy Hall. On the dribble to the top of the circle. Passes left to Full Wiley. Full Wiley around a screen to her right from Watkins. Drives inside the lane, floats it up and in. Alasia Full Wiley with another tough finish. Back to back buckets for her, and it's 16 to 8 game cuts. Approaching two minutes to play here in the opening quarter. Full Wiley is going to be called for the reach in, and Coach Staley doesn't like the call. I don't think she likes the foul, but one of the weaknesses for Full Wiley this year is bad fouls, and that's one of them there, 35 feet from the basket. Her first, but the team's fourth. Is one of those later adds up to where you got to come out of the game when you pick up a second. Oregon State with the basketball, near side it comes. Dominika Parova just checked into the game, drives, layup no good. It was well contested. Gamecocks get the rebound. Quickly down the floor, Breezy Hall, right wing. Doesn't pull the trigger on the three. We'll pull it back out. Up top, Ashlyn Watkins puts it on the floor, driving the lane left side, rolls it up, no good. Boy, how did that one not go down? Swirled around the rim and popped out, and Gamecocks continue to struggle with their shots from the inside. They did everything but finish. Still 16-8, to Gamecocks in front with 1.35 to play in the opening quarter. Here come the Beavers. Van Allhoffen dribbling right into the lane. Swatted away by Ashland Watkins into the baseline, out of bounds. It'll remain with Oregon State, but Watkins, who's second in the SEC in blocks per game, has 84 total. Gets another one there. That was her 85th. We'll get Tahina Pow Pow back in. She'll pick up Malaysia Fulwiler. So Van Allhoffen will bring it in baseline right side for the Beavers. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Got to hurry to avoid the five count. Finally gets it in. Far corner three ball is away and good by Lily Hansford. Leads the Pac-12 in three-point shooting and she had the quick trigger there to make it 16 to 11. Lead is trimmed to five. She has an awkward side saddle shot. She kind of turns to the side, but it goes. Here's Tessa Johnson driving into the lane. Spins to her right, shoots and rolls off the rim no good. And a foul underneath on Oregon State. Goodness, every time the Gamecocks get a shot inside, it just rolls off the rim. They're getting the looks they want. You just got to finish. 
Foul is on Oregon State. Third team foul. Non-shooting as they'll get Kennedy Schuler in, a freshman from Gresham, Oregon. She'll pick up Van Allhoffen. Foul was on Kelsey Reese, the 6'5 junior from Australia. They got a lot of size in their bench. Freezy Hall, left baseline jumper, partially blocked, and Oregon State gets the rebound as the shot ended up hitting the side of the backboard on the deflection. So Oregon State with the ball. Incox's lead is just five, under a minute to play in the first quarter. Beavers have it up top. Here's Reese. Gives it up to the three-point shooter, Hansford. Top of the arc for another three. Got it again. Back-to-back -back threes. And the Gamecocks lead is down to two on back-to-back -back three-pointers from their sharpshooter, Lily Hansford. 35 seconds to play. On the give-and-go to Fagan. Back out Breezy Hall for three. Left it short. Follows her shot. Gets the rebound, and she gets a layup. And the Gamecocks lead 18-14. to 14. Good job by Breezy to follow her own shot. Lead up to four at 18-14. to 14. 20 seconds to play in the quarter. Shot clock is off. The Beavers can work for the final shot. Incox's got to get a hand on the face of Hansford. As he's hit two in a row from behind the arc. 10 seconds to play. Up top of it, Schuler gets it to Hansford. Gets her man in the air, and she walked with it. Yes, she did. Gamecock will have it on the turnover with 5.8 seconds to play. They can try to get a final shot off. Breezy Hall out. My laser are full Wiley in. Gamecock's lead is just four. Get it in delay. Full Wiley across the timeline to the top of the circle. Pulls up for three. Good if it goes off the side of the rim. And that's how the first quarter will end. Well, Gamecocks didn't shoot it well, but they still have a four-point lead as we head to the second quarter here in Albany. Ten minutes in the book. South Carolina leads it 18-14. to 14. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank. We're back in a moment. You're listening to Carolina basketball from Learfield. Cardoso. I believe it'll be Oregon State basketball to start the second quarter. Moving right to left in their road blacks with the orange numbers. Waiting for TV to give us permission to play. They have a long timeout here in the postseason. Bencox led by as many as eight. But then saw that whittled away on the two three-pointers in a row by the Beavers that cut it down to two before the basket from Breezy Hall got it back up to four points. The Gamecocks can get a couple of defensive stands and get the shooter, the, the shots to go down with more regularity. The winner's on to the final four next weekend in Cleveland. Boy, a long time out here. Not sure why. TV's taking this loss. Let's remind you, Gamecock family, if you're ready to break free from hidden fees and personal service, Optus Bank is here for you. They are headquartered in Columbia. They offer competitive rates, personalized service, and convenient mobile banking. They care about you and our community. Optus Bank has been transforming opportunities into wealth since 1921, so go see them soon. Great crowd here at the MVP Arena. This arena holds a little more than 17,000. It's another packed house here. It's going to be packed again tomorrow when Iowa and LSU play. In the Elite Eight matchup, the rematch of last week's national championship game. Oregon State ball is finally played over two. They'll bring it in at midcourt as the Gamecocks will match up in their man to man. Got to keep a hand in the face of that three point shooter out there. And we're underway. Kennedy Schuler will bring it up. Started by Raven Johnson. Gets it across the March Madness logo. Good link to her right. Up top to the post player Beers. Started by Camilla. She'll hand it off to Porova, around a screen to her left, into the lane, swatted away by Ashlyn Swatkins. Her second block of the day sends that one into the baseline. It'll remain with Oregon State, however. Schuler will bring it in, baseline left side for the Beavers. Looking, gets it in to Hansford in the corner, guarded by Tessa Johnson, around the screen. Back up top it goes to the big girl, Reese. Now hand off right side to Porova. Porova. He's it inside, ball knocked away, but the Beavers recover. Here's Beers, top of the circle, three to shoot it. She'll take an 18-footer, in and out, no good. That one halfway down and popped out. Watkins with the rebound, and the game got seven. Leading by four. Far corner three, Tessa Johnson, bang, got it. Three-pointer for the freshman, her 30th of the year, and the Gamecocks lead 21-14. to 14. Good start to the second quarter for the Gamecocks as they hit their 
second three of the day. First one for the freshman with that high arcing shot. Here come the Beavers. Beers will get it across, started by Cardozo. Dribbling to her left, hand off to Perova. Thought about the three, puts it on the floor instead. Around the screen to her left, Camilla takes her on the switch, and then Beers is wide open under the basket. She lays it up and in, and a bad foul there by Raven Johnson. My goodness, you already got beat underneath the basket by a player that's a foot taller than you. You had no chance of blocking that shot. She hacked her arm anyway, and that's her second foul. She's going to have to come out. Zena Pow Pow will take her place. It's 21 to 16, so bad enough you give up the layup on the switch, but now you compound it because he's got to come out with the second foul. And Beers at the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Missed it, and we didn't box out. Kennedy Schuler, the smallest one on the floor, got the rebound. Three ball away, won't go down this time for Hansford. Finally, the Gamecocks get the rebound. But goodness, that was five seconds of brain cramps for South Carolina. Here's Tessa Johnson on the right wing. Up top to Watkins. Watkins driving into the lane against the big girl, Reese. And Reese swatted the ball out of her hands. It'll go out of bounds into the baseline and remain with South Carolina. The lead is five at 21 to 16. Pow Pow to trigger it in. Gets it into Tessa, left wing. Tessa off a screen, drives to the free throw line, pull up jumper, off the back rim, no good. Again, another good look, couldn't knock down an open jumper. Gamecocks are getting shots they want here today, just not knocking them down. Still just a five-point lead, Oregon State with the basketball. 8-18 to play in the second quarter. Up top of it, Parova dumps it down low to Beers. Beers double teamed, it's going to be a held ball, Carolina ball on the possession arrow. Camilla Cardoso tied it up. Tessa Johnson was trying to help down there against the big girl. Oregon State will get three of their starters back in with Van Allhoffen, Hunter, and Gardner joining Beers and Hansford. South Carolina ball moving left to right. Pow Pow running point. Just a five-point lead. Here's Pow Pow dribbling right. Hand off to Tessa Johnson. Drives the lane left side. Cut off on the block. Out to Camilla. 15-foot jumper. Good. Camilla Cardoso from the free throw line makes it 23 to 16. Cardoso with four points. 7.50 to play here in the second quarter. Here's Hunter, guarded by Fulwiley. Around a screen from Beers, passes right. Three ball again from Hansford. Got it again, her third three-pointer. And it's 23 to 19. And the Gamecocks not guarding the perimeter well. She's hit three of them here in the first half. We feed it inside and throw it away. Lead is down to four. Oregon State with the basketball off the turnover. Here's Van Allhoffen, guarded by Fulwiley. Up top to Beers. Beers back to Van Allhoffen. Thought about an NBA range three, didn't take it. Comes around the screen to her left, and that's an offensive foul on Beers. On the screen, that's two on the big post player. With 7.16 to play in the second quarter. Same got with a four-point lead. We'll get Breezy Hall back in. She'll pick up Fulwiley. But South Carolina has not defended the perimeter well. They have left Hansford wide open for some good looks, and she's knocked three of them down. That was the bugaboo in Indiana's comeback in, uh, here the other day. Beat it inside to Watkins. Watkins spinning, shooting, scoring, counted, and a foul. Chance for a three-point play for Ashlyn Watkins, and she gets one to go. Got the hoop and the harm for her first points to extend the lead out to six. And see, they put the foul on. The foul is on Gardner, I believe. That's two on her. So the foul is starting to stack up for both teams. Follow-up free throw from Watkins. Rolls off the rim, no good. And a foul from behind by Camilla Cardoso. Gamecocks just not making good decisions here. First on Camilla. The Oregon State player had boxed out, had the rebound. For some reason, Camilla went over the back. It just... Don't understand the decision-making by South Carolina today defensively. Some very questionable fouls committed by South Carolina. They were correct calls, just poor choices by several Gamecocks so far. 7.03 to play in the second quarter. Pressure in the backcourt by the Gamecocks. Gamecocks lead is six. Oregon State with the ball moving right to left. Hunter gets it across, guarded closely by Pow Pow. Dribbling right, cut off, feeds it up top. Right wing, Gardner for three, got it again. And the lead cut down to three at 25-22. Fourth three-pointer for the Beavers here in the first half. Gamecocks not guarding the perimeter at all today. Here's Pow Pow. She'll drive in the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Watkins in the paint. Puts it back in. And the Gamecocks lead is five. 
Back-to-back -back basket for Ashlyn Watkins makes it 27-22. Six and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. Hancocks have to come off screens better and defend the perimeter. Here's Van Allhoffen, pulls up from 18 straight away, rolls off the rim no good. Tessa Johnson with the rebound, and the Gamecocks have it. Tessa quickly down the floor, top of the circle. Around a screen from Watkins, drives into the lane left side, cut off there, back out to Pow Pow. Pow Pow around a screen to her right, pulls up for three, left it short. Rebound underneath for the Beavers, and the Gamecocks have gone cold from the perimeter while Oregon State is heating up. Six minutes to play in the half. Gamecocks lead is just five. And a 10 count as they lollygag getting the ball up the floor. My goodness, Donovan Hunter took her sweet time dribbling it across the timeline, and it's a 10-second violation. We'll get Chloe Kitts back into the game. She'll pick up Camilla. So an unforced error there. Gamecocks weren't even pressuring that time. Carolina ball, lead is just five. Here's Pow Pow, guarded by Hunter, top of the circle. Stop and go, gets it to Breezy. Breezy left elbow, back out to Pow Pow. Now Kitts right side. Kitts puts it on the floor with the left hand into the lane. Shot is up, high off the glass, no good. Rebound is going to be lost and kicked out of bounds. Off the Beavers, they say. It'll be Carolina ball. Hancock's really struggling to finish. The height inside for Oregon State may have something to do with that. Watkins will bring it in baseline right side. There's Pow Pow right wing, shot clock at 10. Pow Pow in the corner to Breezy. Breezy on the drive with the left hand. Hands it off to Chloe Kitts. And she stepped on the baseline and traveled with it out of bounds. Goodness gracious. All kinds of sloppy here for South Carolina. Lead is just five with five and a half minutes to play in the first half. Low scoring first half. Oregon State with the basketball. Gamecock's largest lead was eight, but just can't seem to pull away. Here comes Hunter, dribbles down the baseline, feeds Van Allhoffen in the corner for three. No good. Rebound, Pow Pow on the other side, and the Gamecocks have it. Here come the Gamecocks in transition. Pow Pow into the lane left side. Needs help and throws it away. But Breezy Hall takes it right back, and the Gamecocks in business. Breezy up top to Pow Pow will settle back into the half court. Almost had back-to-back -back turnovers there. Here's Pow Pow around the screen, pulls up for three left wing, in and out, no good. And a foul underneath on the Beavers. Goodness, Pow Pow got a good look, but couldn't knock it down. She's just one for four from distance, one out of six overall. It'll be Carolina ball when we come back, leading by five, 27-22 with 4.56 to play here in the second quarter. We'll step aside and be back in a moment. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank, and you're listening to Carolina basketball from their field. Wide open looks from the perimeter. The game got struggled to come off switches defensively. Still struggling to do that here today. So a lot of the motion creating screens on the on-ball defender. The Gamecocks, whoever's switching or trying to come off the ball screens, not able to get there quick enough to get a hand in the face. Meanwhile, the Gamecocks getting some quality shots, just not going down. A lot of the shots in the paint being well contested by the size of Oregon State. It's a team that makes a living on defense. I think if you look at the shot chart, you'd like where the Gamecocks are getting a lot of shots from. Even their perimeter shots, the three-point shots, have been open looks. They're just not going down with the usual percentage. But still, the Gamecocks hold a five-point lead. Let's see what they can muster here. Winners on to the final four in Cleveland. On the floor for the Gamecocks. Breezy Hall, Chloe Kitts, Camilla Cardozo, Tessa Johnson, and Mylasia Fulwiley. Number Raven Johnson on the bench with two fouls. Gamecocks have not really been able to get the transition offense going. Gamecocks definitely have a speed advantage against this team, but have not been able to get out in transition. Carolina Ball will bring it in baseline right side. Tessa Johnson to do the honors. The freshman got to get something going here to avoid the five count. Gets it to Breezy on the right wing, and we're underway. Breezy, down low to Camilla. Camilla spins, shoots, scores. Camilla Cardoso spins and scores, and the Gamecocks lead 29-22. 4.44 to play in the second quarter. Here come the Beavers the other way. Need a stop here. Hunter up top to Hansford, the three-point shooter. And she'll bomb another one. That was well contested, and she left it short. So good defense there. Gamecocks get the rebound. Here's the full Wiley in transition. Stops, pops, it won't drop. Gets her own rebound. Floats it up and in on the rebound, and the Gamecocks lead 31-22.
And the Gamecocks have their largest lead of nine points on the stick back by Full Wiley. And right away, Coach Scott Ruick of Oregon State is going to burn a timeout to try to stop the bleeding. So 423 to 423 to play in the second quarter here in Albany. South Carolina leading Oregon State now 31 to 22. Gamecocks on a 6-0 run to take their largest lead of nine points. Got the bucket from Camilla Cardoso, and then after a well-contested three by Oregon State that was missed, Bull Wiley in transition, missed her initial shot from mid-range, but followed the shot, got the rebound, and got the bucket to go, and the Gamecocks lead is nine, forced into timeout by head coach Scott Ruick. On the floor for the Gamecocks, Hall, Bull Wiley, Kitts, Tessa Johnson, and Sanaya Fagan. It'll be Beaver basketball moving right to left. They'll have to go the length of the floor. Gamecocks showing some pressure here. Van Allhoffen will trigger it in with Chloe Kitts doing jumping jacks in front of her. Gets it in to Parova, guarded by Full Wiley. Feeds Hunter, still deep in the backcourt. Gets it to Van Allhoffen, she'll get it across. They've got numbers now. Parova underneath the Beers. Beers off the window for an easy two. She used her size well, and it's 31-24. Beers in there with two fouls. She's got uh, eight points now. And then Gamecocks almost turn it over, and they do turn it over. Fagan lost the handle. Here come the Beavers in transition, and they'll lay it up and in. So the Gamecocks had a nine-point lead, and they've just given away four points. 3.50 to play. The lead down to five. Gamecocks have not been sharp. Full Wiley long three, well off the rim, no good. Kitts with the rebound on her knees. It'll be held up. Possession to Oregon State. Not sure if Coach Staley was thrilled with that shot selection early in the shot clock as Full Wiley bombed one from NBA range, and Gamecocks have been very inconsistent here with their the last few possessions. Here come the Beavers, quickly down the floor, Perova up top to the point guard, Hunter. Now Van Allhoffen left side, three and a half minutes to play in the half. Gamecocks lead down to five. Here's Hunter between the rings, guarded closely by Breezy Hall. Gamecocks need a stop here. Hunter dribbling right, up top to Perova. Thought about the three as Fagan sticks the hand in the face. Now she'll drive, gets past Fagan, knocks the ball loose, but she recovers. Back out Van Allhoffen, wide open for three, left it short, but there's Beers with the rebound, missed the layup, gets her own miss, and she's fouled on the follow-up. Goodness. All of a sudden, the Gamecocks not getting it done on either end of the floor. Three bad possessions in a row, and then a bad set there defensively, although a little tough to box out big Beers. Had Chloe Kitts on her, and Beers has got a couple of inches and a lot more on her. Ashlyn Watkins will check in for Kitts now. Kitts picked up her first foul, and here's Beers at the line. Beers with eight points. And misses the first free throw. And Cox had momentum with a 6-0 run and a nine-point lead, and that's all been whittled away now. Second free throw is good, and the lead is trimmed further, 31-27. Just a four-point lead. Some pressure in the backcourt now by Oregon State. Tessa Johnson will get it across to Breezy in the far corner. Back up top, Tessa. Watkins, top of the circle. Around the zone, right side to Full Wiley. Now Watkins gives it back to Full Wiley. She'll spot up for three, no good. Breezy Hall flies in for the rebound, and she's fouled on the way. They're going to get the foul on Talia Van Allhoffen. Her first. Fourth personal foul, and we'll send Breezy Hall to the line to try to get some momentum back. Breezy with five points today. Makes the first free throw to make it 32-27. Breezy only a 69% foul shooter. One more time for the junior. Got that one as well. And it's a six-point lead at 33-27. We'll get Tahina Pow Pow in. She'll pick up Full Wiley. Oregon State basketball. Gamecocks lead is six with 2.52 to play in the second quarter. If the Gamecocks can pick it up here. Hunter across the timeline. Guarded by Pow Pow. Man-to-man coverage as usual. Dribbling left. Pow Pow stays with her. Feeds it back up top to Perova. Now underneath the beers. Gamecocks double on her. Pass comes back out. Hunter drives to the free throw line. Pull up jumper is short. Rebound tipped out by Watkins and Breezy Hall comes out of there with it and it's knocked out of bounds by Oregon State. It'll be Carolina ball. Gamecocks have it. 2.26 to play in the half. Lead is six. 
Largest lead has only been nine. Against the 12th ranked Oregon State Beavers. Up top it comes to Breezy, we're underway. Left side, Tessa. Around the 2-3 zone, here's Pow Pow. Up top to Tessa, she'll spot up for three and that's gonna be well short, an air ball by Tessa. Goodness, you don't see that much from the freshman. But she didn't get her legs underneath her and missed that one badly. Tessa, a 43% three-point shooter, but don't know what happened there. 2.13 to play in the half. Oregon State with the basketball. Lead is just six. Here's Hansford. Has her shot blocked by Tessa, and Breezy gets the rebound. Good recovery there. Here's Tessa in transition. Drives into the lane, floats it up too strong. Tips the rebound out on the other side, and the Gamecocks have it. Pow Pow feeds it inside to Fagan. Jumper won't go. Watkins with the stick back. Up and in. Ashman Watkins with the bucket, and it's 35-27. Gamecocks in front. Watkins with six points. 144 to play in the first half. Here come the Beavers. Hunter guarded by Pow Pow. Around a screen to her right. Back up top, Perova. Guarded by Watkins. Near side, Van Allhoffen. 13 to shoot it. Breezy Hall on the defense. She puts it on the floor. Drives the baseline. Zips it out. Three-pointer by Hunter is good. Donovan Hunter, her 27th three-pointer of the year. And it's 35-30. to The lead down to five. And the Gamecocks just not doing a good job of guarding the perimeter. Five threes by the Beavers here in the first half. 113 to play in the half. Shot clock at 15. Around the 2-3 zone, here's Fagan. Left side, Tessa Johnson. Puts it on the floor. Cut off, back up top to Breezy. Breezy puts it on the floor. Dumps it down low to Fagan. Fagan, back out to Tessa, left wing. She wants three, no good, but a foul on the floor. Is gonna work against the Beavers, I believe. And that's gonna be against their big post player, Beers. That is three on Beers. And that's a big foul for Oregon State. And that'll send the Gamecocks to the free throw line to try to build on a five-point lead with 56 seconds to play. So Beers, the All-American, is going to have to come out for the 6-5, Kelsey Reeves. Reeves in her first year at Oregon State and after three years at Utah. Here's Tania Fagan at the line for the first time. Fagan only a 67% free throw shooter. Makes the first one, and it's 36-30. Fagan with three points today. One more time. Got it. And it's back to a seven-point lead. And a timeout taken by Dawn Staley here. It's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. 56.1 seconds to play in the half. South Carolina leading Oregon State 37-31. to Gamecock trying to collapse inside to help out against these bigs of Oregon State. But when you do that, it leaves the perimeter wide open. Oregon State has made Carolina pay. They've hit five three-pointers, and most of them have been open looks, and they've knocked them down. So let's see with Beers out of the game. Let's see if the Gamecocks can defend the perimeter a little bit better. Oregon State will have the ball. They'll have to go the length of the floor. Largest lead has been nine, but the three-point shooting has kept the Beavers in this thing. Just a seven-point lead here. Full Wiley checked in during that timeout. She joins Paul, Pow Pow, Watkins, and Fagan. Remember, Raven Johnson's been on the bench for a while with two fouls. And Cardoso's been on the bench as well, just getting some rest. We go for the steal in the backcourt. Don't get it. Hunter will get it across. Picked up by Breezy Hall. Dribbling to her right. Trying to create. And they're going to get a hand check foul on Breezy. Fourth team foul. Last to give before the bonus. For Breezy, that's her first foul. 45 and a half seconds to play. Oregon State will bring it in baseline right side. Hunter to do the honors, gets it in the corner to Perova. Started by Watkins, swats with the ball. Perova has it on the dribble into the lane, kicks it back out. Hunter wide open for three, and she buries it again. My goodness. 37-33, the Gamecocks lead. A perimeter shooter, shooter wide open again. What are they going to learn? Lead down to four with 25 seconds to play. Five second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Defense on the perimeter has been horrendous for the Gamecocks today. Here's Full Wiley. Drives across the baseline. Out to Breezy for three. No good. Watkins with the rebound. Stick back won't go. Rebound tipped around. And the Beavers come out of there with it. Gamecocks trying to hammer in. 
They get it off. Three seconds to play in the half. Van Allhoffen, half court shot at the buzzer, won't go down. And that's how the first half will end. 20 minutes in the books, 20 minutes to decide who's going to the final four. Gamecocks clinging to a four point lead, 37 to 33, over the 12th ranked Beavers from Oregon State. And we welcome you back to MVP Arena in Albany, New York, side of the Albany Regional, the 2024 NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Elite eight round, South Carolina leading Oregon State, the 14th or 12th ranked Beavers, the number three seed in this bracket. Gamecocks lead at 37 to 33. See if the Gamecocks can pick it up on both ends of the floor. Obviously have shot well below their average in that first half. Give some credit to Oregon State's defense, but also South Carolina has gotten some good looks at the basket, just not finishing shots that they normally make. And on the other end, got to pick up things on the defensive end and defend the perimeter a little bit better. Gamecocks in their home white uniforms, garnet numbers trimmed in black, Oregon State in their road black with orange numbers. Should be Carolina ball to start the third quarter. They'll be moving from right to left here towards their own bench, towards us. We are seated across from the Carolina bench. And by we, I mean me, because I'm just talking to myself, right? Waiting for TV to give us permission to play. On the floor for the Gamecocks, it's Tahina Pow Pow, Raven Johnson, who missed much of the first half with foul trouble. Breezy Hall, Chloe Kitts, and Camilla Cardoso, who almost tripped over her own feet. I saw that. <laughs> she looked at me to see if anybody saw it. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, so Carolina ball will trigger it into Raven Johnson and we're underway. Man-to-man -man defense by the Beavers. Raven dribbling towards the Carolina bench to her right. Feed it down low to Camilla. Camilla back out to Breezy left wing. Top of the circle now against the zone. Inside it goes to Camilla and she'll float it up and in. Got to see some more of that. Good start getting Camilla involved. Back to a six point lead, 39-33. Gamecocks in front just underway here in the third quarter. Dribbling right, Hunter, guarded by Raven, tight man to man. Back up top, Van Allhoffen, around a screen to her right, looking inside, oh, they had Beers wide open on the switch, couldn't get it to her. Now they feed her, and shot blocked. Oh, late whistle and a foul, my goodness. Oh, my, Coach Staley exploded off the bench, and I don't blame her. That was a very late whistle. Oh, man, that was a total flop job by Reagan Beers and the officials bought it. And that'll send Beers to the line. Crowd was booing after seeing it on the replay. That was a horrible call. And what made it worse was how late it was. Beers at the line, she'll make the first one. That was brutal. Staley still furious about that one. That was a good two seconds after the shot that they called the foul and she'll make both free throws. The lead cut down to four, 39-35. Both teams have scored in their opening possession. Gamecocks get it across as Oregon State settles into that 2-3 zone. Trying to take away the inside game. We get it down to Camilla, double teamed. Back out, Pow Pow. And going to get a foul on the pass. It's too bad because Pow Pow was open for three and she knocked it down, but couldn't get the shot off as they've blown the whistle. On Tamia Gardner. That's her third and first on Oregon State. Or was it on her? I think the officials having some discussion. Maybe it was on Hunter. Okay, yeah, it was on Donovan Hunter. So it's her first. Hancocks will bring it in, baseline right side. Up top to Chloe Kitts. Kitts against the 2 3 zone, passes left to Raven. Inside Camilla beats Beers like a rented mule and lays it up and in. 41 35. Back to back buckets for Camilla Cardoso. Six point lead again. Cardoso showing good quickness against the big girl there. Here's Van Allhoffen dribbling left side, up top to Gardner. Gardner guarded by Kitts. One dribble, handoff to Van Allhoffen. Shot clock at 12. 
Behind the back dribble into the lane to her right. Breezy trying to stay with her. Spins, shoots, scores, and the trading baskets again. It's 41-37. Both teams have scored on both of their possessions. There's Pow Pow right wing against the 2-3 zone. Working around near side to Breezy Hall. Up top, Pow Pow. Top of the circle. Passes left to Breezy. Shot clock at 15. So spot up for three. In and out, no good. That went halfway down for Pow Pow. Reynolds out, no good. Oregon State with the rebound. They can make it a one possession game here. Lead is just four with two minutes gone by in the third quarter. It was the first time we didn't get it inside to Camilla. Up top it comes to Beers, guarded by Camilla. Now Van Allhoffen around a screen, pulls up from 18 and buries it. And just like that, it's a two-point game at 41-39. Oregon State comes out a blazing here, and we throw it away. Raven Johnson was looking for Camilla Cardoso underneath the basket and threw it over her head out of bounds. And now a chance for Oregon State to tie or take the lead here. It's 41-39 with 7.45 to play in the third quarter. Gamecocks need a stop. They haven't gotten one yet this quarter. Up top, Van Allhoffen. Back to Beers, top of the circle, guarded by Camilla. Bounce pass in the lane to Gardner. Knocked out of bounds, off the hands of Gardner's Carolina ball. So both teams turn it over there. Gamecocks lead is just two. Raven Johnson will bring it up. Across the March Madness logo. Working against the zone here. Up top around the perimeter left side to Breezy. Camilla coming out of the paint. Passes right to Raven. Shot clock at 15 to Kitts now. Kitts puts it on the floor, drives the lane, and threw it away. Was looking for Camilla when she should have just taken it up. Looking to make the one extra pass. Back-to-back -back turnovers for the game cut. Here's Hunter the other way. Far corner, Gardner for three. No good. Rebound Camilla, and the Gamecocks have it. Gamecocks lead still just two. Three minutes gone by in the third. Back to Breezy. Breezy up top for three. In and out, no good. Why? Why the quick trigger on the three ball? Rebound to Oregon State. First two possessions, we got it inside to Camilla, and she scored. Last three possessions, we haven't gotten it to her. Left side it comes Van Allhoffen, puts it on the floor, trying to back her way in. Cut off in the lane, gets it back out to Gardner, shot clock at 10, Kits on the defense. Entry pass knocked away and stolen. Raven Johnson in transition to Camilla. Camilla beats her man down the floor, lays it up and in, and it's 43-39. The big girl running the floor, give her a dozen points. With 6.20 to play in the third, it's a four-point lead. Good things happen when Camilla touches the ball. 6.13 to play in the third. Here's Van Allhoffen dribbling left. Bounce pass in the lane to Beers. Beers beats Camilla and lays it in. Camilla, a little late getting there, and the lead down to two again, 43-41. The bigs going back and forth. Beers with 13 points. Gamecocks working against the 2-3 zone. Here's Pow Pow left wing. Up top to Camilla. Right side to Raven. Now Kitts looking inside. Back out to Raven. Kitts with 12 to shoot it. Will take a 16-foot jumper. Left it short. The rebound to Oregon State. Gamecocks struggling to get boards against that 2-3 zone. Just a two-point lead. Chance for Oregon State to tie or take the lead here. Here's Hunter right wing, guarded by Breezy. Looking inside. Feeds it to Van Allhoffen up top. Around the screen to her left. Passes left corner to Marat. Shot clock at 10. Whistle away from... Oh, my goodness. They're going to get a foul on Camilla. <laughs> away from the ball. And, ugh, all of a sudden, they decide to call it close. Second foul in the game, Cox. That's three on Camilla now. And no move to pull her out yet. Well, now she'll come out. Watkins will come in for her. Tessa Johnson in for Breezy Hall. So Camilla on the bench with three fouls. Big Beers in there with three. They feed it inside to Marat. Misses the layup. Rebound Raven. Gamecocks got lucky there. We would have been tied. Here's Pow Pow left side. They set up the zone. Right side to Raven. Back up top, Pow Pow. Feed it to Raven right wing. Inside to Chloe Kitts, cut off by Beers. Reversal left side, Pow Pow gets her man in the air, pulls up for three, in and out, no good. Rebound swatted out of bounds by the Beavers. It'll be Carolina ball. Gamecocks really struggling from the perimeter today. Just two for 15. Pow Pow, who's 48% on the year, is just one out of six from three-point range. Would love to see her hit her average because it means she's going to make three or four in a row. She had a good look there after the up fake, but couldn't knock it down. Gamecox was two out of 15 from three-point range. Coming into this game, 40%, but nothing going down. Just a two-point lead for the Gamecocks. Raven to bring it in baseline left side. 
delivers to Watkins, right of the lane. Tries to drive, cut off on the baseline. Gets it to Kitts at the free throw line. Near corner, it comes to Raven for three. Bang, got it. Right on cue, Raven Johnson with a big three-pointer. Makes it 46-41. Raven with her first points of the game. 4.45 to play in the third. It's a five-point lead. Finally, something dropped for the game cut. Now you need a stop on the other end. Van Allhoffen around the screen, drives into the lane, kick out into the corner to Reese. Back up top, Parova wide open for three, no good. Fight for the rebound. Beavers come out of there with it. Here's Parova driving the lane. Gets it back out to Reese on the wing. Hands it back to Parova up top, picked up by Pow Pow. Shot clock at 10 now, Van Allhoffen working against Tessa Johnson, top of the circle. Driving with her right. Puts it up, no good. Rebound, Watkins. Ball knocked out of her hands, and Van Allhoffen, Van Allhoffen comes out of there with it. She blows the layup. Watkins gets another rebound. Incox got lucky again. Here's Raven Johnson. Drives into the lane. She'll pull it back out. Four minutes to play in the third. Just a five-point lead for the Gamecocks here in the Elite Eight on a cold shooting night. Raven trying to play traffic cop. Gets it to Watkins against this 2-3 zone. Right elbow. Inside to Kitt. Spins to a right. Shot blocked from behind by Kelsey Reese, her 34th block of the year. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Carolina ball when we come back. 3.44 to play in the third. Gamecocks lead Oregon State 46-41. to Time out on the floor. We'll step aside. Eight on the shot clock here as Oregon State sets up in their 2-3 zone. Raven gets it into Fagan. Back to Raven. In the corner to Johnson for three. Bang! Got it. Three-pointer. Tessa Johnson, her second of the day, and the Gamecocks have an eight-point lead. Well, the threes hadn't been falling all day, and the Gamecocks just hit two in a row. With three and a half minutes to play in the third, it's an eight-point lead. Here come the Beavers. Up top, they work it left side. Three ball away by Gardner. Rolls off the rim, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Off the Beavers, Carolina ball. Gamecocks have it with an eight-point lead. Largest lead was nine. Huge three by Tessa Johnson, the freshman. Her second of the game gives her six points. 31 three-pointers on the year for the rookie. Here's Raven across the timeline. Dribbling to her right. Up top to Tessa. They extend the defense out on her. Now right wing to Watkins. In the far corner on the baseline, back out right side, Tessa on the dribble drive this time, floats it up and in. And the Gamecocks have their first double-digit lead, 51-41 with 2.54 to play in the third. Back-to-back -back buckets from the rookie, Tessa Johnson. That one off the dribble. Here come the Beavers. Up top, Hunter, guarded by Raven, dribbling to her left towards the Beaver bench. Feeds it inside, knocked away and stolen. Ashlyn Watkins comes out of there with it. To Pow Pow. Pow Pow inside to Fagan on the break. She'll lay it up and in. And the Gamecocks lead 53 41. It's a 10 0 run by the Gamecocks to take a 12 point lead with two and a half minutes to play in the third. Beavers with the ball. Ball knocked away. And a foul is going to be called underneath the basket on Sanaya Fagan trying to keep hold of Beers. Fagan's going to pick up her second. Third team foul in the Gamecocks. Some non-shooting. Gamecocks lead is 12. Oregon State with the ball. They'll bring it in baseline right side. Hunter will trigger it in for the Beavers. Looking, looking. Finally gets it into Parova. Pulls up from the baseline. Rolls out no good. Watkins with the rebound, and the Gamecocks have it. Outlet to Pow Pow across the timeline. Dribbling right. Weaving through defenders. Spins in the lane. Needs help. Back up top to Raven. will settle into the half court. Raven pulls everybody out, wants to settle up. Up top to Sanaya Fagan, shy of the free throw line. Fagan thought about the 15-footer, didn't take it. Seven to shoot it. Back to Raven. Raven drives in the lane, has her shot swatted away by Big Beers. It'll remain with South Carolina, but only three and a half seconds on the shot clock. That math won't work out, 5-7 against 6-4. Here's Watkins, pull-up jumper, no good. Fagan rebound, other side, won't go. Rebound second time, good with the hook shot. Sanaya Fagan makes it 55-41. It's a 12-0 run for the Gamecocks with 1.40 to play in the third. And a timeout taken by Scott Ruick of Oregon State to stop the bleeding. 1.34 to play in the third. Gamecocks on a big run to take a 14-point lead at 55-41. We'll step aside. 
South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Optus Bank, and you're listening to Carolina basketball from their feet. But didn't want to see this one get away from them. Beavers have two timeouts remaining. Great crowd here in Albany for all these games. Not just fans of the participating schools, but from different parts of the Northeast. You see the different colors of the fandom. A lot of garnet and black, and orange and black here today for the two teams playing, but you see some Iowa yellow and black. And some LSU purple. They'll play tomorrow, LSU and Iowa. Oregon State as play resumes. They'll trigger it in in the front court. Gamecocks match up man to man. They triggered in to Hunter and we're underway. Hunter guarded by Raven Johnson, stabbing at the basketball. Passes right to Marat. Guarded by Pow Pow. Now feed it to Gardner, pulls up from the right elbow and buries it. And that snaps that 12-0 run by the Gamecocks to make it 55-43. So well-designed play coming out of the timeout for the Beavers. To get back in it, Gamecocks need an answer. Raven wants someone to set a screen. Comes around to her right, up top to Ashlyn Watkins. Shot clock at 13, trying to work against this zone. Right side to Raven, shot clock under 10. Now Fagan at the foul line, inside to Watkins, against Gardner, puts it up and in. That was a tough finish for Watkins in traffic. She's got eight. 53 seconds to play in the third quarter, back to a 14-point lead for South Carolina. Here come the Beavers the other way, up top to Gardner. Guarded by Watkins, work it right side to Marat, looking inside for Beers, they lob it in. Beers on Fagan, Fagan blocked it, oh, they got her for a foul. Wow. Don't know about that one. Fagan, oh, that looked like a clean block. On the replay, <laughs> that's not something you can review, unfortunately, and if the three stripes were looking at that, they know they blew that call. Fagan got ball. Beers at the line where she's been good. Five out of seven today. And right on cue, she missed the first one. Oh, Fagan, I feel for you. Looks like a good defensive play against the All-American. One more time for Beers. She'll make one out of two, and it's 57-44. South Carolina in front with 35 seconds to play in the third quarter. Raven will get it across the March Madness logo. Back to her right around a double screen. Eyes the shot clock, tries to work the clock down. Up top to Watkins. Now Tessa Johnson left side, puts it on the floor. Drives, shoots, too strong. Rebound Beers, but then we try to steal it. And the Beavers come out of there with it. They've got a two-on-one the other way. Gardner will drive, miss, but she's fouled by Fagan. Fagan can't believe it. And that's going to be four fouls off the bench for Sanaya Fagan. 8.6 seconds to play. The Beavers will be at the free throw line. Fagan didn't like that call either. Didn't have a good look. And at the free throw line, Tamia Gardner, who's 88% from the line, hits the first one. She is automatic. One more time for Gardner. She'll hit them both. And the lead cut to 11. We'll get Bo Wiley in for Fagan. So a smaller lineup out there against this big Oregon State team. See if we can get a final shot. Bo Wiley will get it across. Five seconds to play. Bo Wiley drives in the lane, puts it high off the glass, no good, but a foul with 0.2 seconds. And that'll send Carolina to the line. Bo Wiley just finds another gear. Got the harm, didn't get the hoop. She can get it from the line. Bo Wiley, the freshman, six points today. Her first visit to the foul line. She'll hit the first one to push the lead back up to 12. One more time. Second free throw, missed it, and a rebound to Beers, and that'll end the quarter. 30 minutes in the books, 10 minutes to decide who's going to the Final Four. South Carolina leads Oregon State here 58-46 to 46 as we head to the fourth quarter. 
Be back in a moment. South Carolina postseason basketball is presented by Op leading the Beavers with 14. Gamecocks had a 12-0 run in that third quarter to build a double-digit lead for the first time today. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Ashlyn Watkins has eight points, eight rebounds, eight points apiece for Sonia Fagan and Tessa Johnson off the bench as well. The Carolina bench has been big today as they've scored 31 of our 58 points. Tessa Johnson hit a couple of big threes and see what they can do here. Again, the winner is on to Cleveland to face the winner of the game later today between NC State and Texas. Interestingly enough, in all four Elite Eight games in the women's tournament, it's the one seed against the three seed in every single one. In the late game today, or starts at actually at 3 o'clock Eastern in the Portland Regional, is Texas against NC State. Tomorrow you'll have the other, other half of the bracket, Iowa against LSU, Southern Cal against UConn. On the floor to start the fourth quarter, Malaysia Fulwiley, Raven Johnson, Tahina Pow Pow, Ashlyn Watkins, and Camilla Cardoso. Big, important start for the fourth quarter here. See if the Gamecocks can not only build on their lead, but keep Oregon State from getting into any kind of rhythm. Got to credit Sanaya Fagan for doing some big things. While Cardoso was on the bench in foul trouble, she drew the tough assignment of guarding the All-American inside. And did a pretty good job. She was whistled for four fouls, but did a nice job down there. Also got a couple of buckets. It'll be Oregon State to basketball to start the fourth quarter, moving left to right in the road. Blacks, Gamecocks in defense in their home white. Ten minutes to decide who's going to the final four. Wait for TV to give us permission to play. Ben Allhoffman will bring it in at midcourt for the Beavers. And here we go, fourth quarter underway. Hunter will bring it up on Stolwiley. Gets it across the March Madness logo. Passes left to Ben Allhoffen, guarded by Raven. Up top it comes to Gardner. Work it right side to Marat, guarded by Pow Pow. Now top of the circle, Hunter again. Shot clock at 14. Work it left side, three ball away for Gardner. Back rimmed it, no good. Long rebound to Pow Pow. And the Gamecocks have it. Can't get the transition offense going, so we'll settle into the half court. Raven Johnson up top, guarded by Marat in the man-to-man. -man. Working right side to Pow Pow. Pow Pow, back up top to Wiley. Full Wiley left side to Raven. Looking inside to Cardoso at the free throw line. Shot clock at 10. Now Watkins steps into a 16-footer and airballed it into the baseline. Goodness, what was that? Looked like she couldn't make up her mind whether to pass it or shoot it and didn't really do either. The turnover there, or just a missed shot, either way, an empty possession, gives it back to Oregon State. Paul Wiley guarding Hunter in the backcourt, she'll get it across. Still a 12-point lead for the Gamecocks, with about a minute gone by in the fourth quarter. Hunter dribbling right, gets past Paul Wiley, Paul Wiley blocks her from behind in the layup. Raven comes out of there with it, delivers the Pow Pow left wing. We'll settle into the half court. Gamecocks have not been able to get the transition offense going against Oregon State today. Raven behind the back dribble, needs help, fumbles but recovers. Back to the top of the circle. Dribbling to her right, hands it off to Fulwiley. Fulwiley pulls up, straight away, 18-footer, rolls off the rim, no good. Gamecocks not able to get the ball inside to Camilla. Here's Van Allhoffen in transition. Drives the lane, gets the man in the air, back out to Beers, 16-footer, rolls out, no good, but we didn't box out Gardner. Offensive rebound for the Beavers. Gamecocks got to do the little thing. Van Allhoffen up top, open look at a three. She missed it. Rebound Raven, and the Gamecocks have it. Both teams have gone cold here. Neither team has scored to start the fourth quarter. We've played almost two minutes. Got to get it inside somehow if we can to Camilla. We run our weave up top. Full Wiley driving into the lane. and going to get an armbar foul on Donovan Hunter. Hunter's going to pick up her third foul. First foul of the fourth quarter. We'll get Breezy Hall into the contest. She'll pick up Full Wiley. 8.07 to play here in the fourth quarter. Still a 12-point lead as Raven will look to bring it in. Baseline left side. Slaps the ball to get things in motion. Got to hurry to avoid the five count. Gets it into Camilla left side. Hands it back to Raven. Back down low to Camilla. Working against Beers. Knifing her way in. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Beers. Pretty good defense there by Beers, but Camilla's got to finish that. Oregon State with the basketball. Ben Allhoffen dribbling left. 
Cut off in the lane. Feeds it up top to Hunter. Feeds it down low to Beers. Beers beat Camilla, and she laid it up and in. And the lead cut to 10 at 58-48. Beers with 16 points. Cardoso playing in front of her as she sh should, but that entry pass somehow got in there. Here's Breezy Hall around the screen. Runner in the lane. Left it short. Fight for the rebound. Breezy Hall's got it. They're going to call what? They're going to call a foul on Breezy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so it gives it back to Oregon State with a chance to get the deficit to single digits. They called over the back on Breezy, but it looked pretty clean the way she got the rebound. Hunter will bring it up, guarded by Raven Johnson. Incox need to stop here. Lead is 10 with 7.20 to play. Near side, Ben Allhoffen, guarded by Breezy, dribbling right. Feeds it back right side, Hansford for three, got it. Got it again, and the lead is 10, 58-51. Hansford hits her fourth three-pointer. She's got a dozen points, and somehow the Gamecocks have forgotten about the Pac-12's best three-point shooter. Three minutes gone by, Gamecocks haven't scored here in the fourth quarter yet. The lead was 14, it's cut in half to seven. Here's Raven Johnson left side. To Watkins left elbow, zips it to Breezy. Five seconds to shoot it. Got to get something going. Do something. Breezy will drive. Shoot. Scores to beat the shot clock. And it's 60 to 51. Breezy Hall with nine points. And it's a nine-point lead for the Gamecocks. Needed that one badly. Gamecocks offense just all out of sync here to start the fourth quarter. 6.25 and counting in the contest. Van Allhoffen around a screen from Beers to the top of the circle. Passes left to Gardner for three. Got it again. And it's 60 to 54. Oregon State hits its eight three pointer. And the lead down to six with 6.10 to play in this one. Gamecocks cannot defend the perimeter inside to Camilla. Puts it up and she's fouled by Beers. Let's have some more of that, please. Why is it taking why is it becoming so difficult to get the ball to Camilla? They're playing a T3 zone, but it's spread out. That's four fouls. I thought it was four fouls on Beers. Yeah, it is. Their top scorer and rebounder will send Camilla to the line. Camilla's been quiet this half, her first visit to the free throw line. Lead is just six with 6.05 to play. It was 14. And Camilla misses the first one badly. Not a time to start missing free throws. Gamecocks now eight out of 11 from the floor, or from the free throw line. Camilla hits the second one but someone was in the lane for the Gamecocks. you got to be kidding me. Ugh. They say Watkins came in from behind and was inside the arc. Unbelievable. So take the point off the board. Just a six-point lead with six minutes to play. Oregon State with the basketball. Got to get a stop here. Up top it comes to Hunter. Beer's still in there with four fouls. Work it right side to Van Allhoffen. Van Allhoffen. Started by Breezy, comes around a screen from Beers. Passes right to Gardner. Ball knocked out of the air, inside to Beers. Beers driving on Camilla, cut off on the baseline. She stepped on the baseline out of bounds. Carolina ball. Good defense there by Camilla to not get a, give any ground. 5.40 to play, Carolina ball, lead is just six. Need a bucket here. Raven across the timeline. And almost lost the handle, able to get it off to Watkins. Now Pow Pow as we run the weave. Pow Pow driving inside the lane. Pulls it back out, almost lost the handle, being hounded by Van Allhoffen. Inside to Camilla, spins to her left, high off the glass, no good. Stick back won't go. Gets her own rebound again. Out to Breezy up top, will settle into the half court. Gamecocks wanted a foul, didn't get it. Raven dribbling right, top clock down to 10. Up top to Pow Pow. Pow Pow on the drive, floater up and in. Tahina Pow Pow with the floater. And it's 62-54, just her second bucket. She's got five points. We're midway through the fourth quarter. It's an eight-point lead. Here's Van Allhoffen up top working on Breezy. Gets it up top to Hansford, the three-point shooter. Started by Pow Pow. Passes right to Hunter. Hunter on the drive. Pull-up jumper is good from 15 feet, and the Beavers are heating it up. It's 62-56. They're shooting it well. Lead down to six with four and a half minutes to play. Raven across the timeline. Now to Pow Pow between the rings, dribbling right. Around the screen from Watkins. Pulls it back out. 
to the top of the circle. Pow Pow to Watkins, gets it back. Pow Pow top of the circle for three, no good. Watkins gets the rebound, out to Raven for three, left corner, no good. Fight for the rebound on the other side. Beavers come out of there with it. Here comes Hunter the other way. Hunter stop and go dribble, lead is just six. Four minutes to play here in Albany, New York. Hunter dribbling right, guarded by Pow Pow with 12 to shoot it. Trying to go baseline and open four and she gets a layup. Pow Pow relaxed for a moment, thought she had help and the lead down to four. 62-58. Gamecocks kind of allayed on the defense there. The lead was 14, is down to four with 3.40 to play. Oregon State fans on their feet here. Coach Staley's seen enough, she's gonna burn a timeout. 3.37 to play here in Albany. Gamecocks hold just a four-point lead. Timeout on the floor, we'll step aside. South Carolina Postseason Basketball is presented by Optus Bank, and you're listening to Carolina Basketball from their field. Couple of defensive miscues as well, leaving the three-point shooter open and then gave up a layup recently to the point guard as nobody stopped the dribble. See if the Gamecocks can find a way. They seem to hit a good rhythm midway through the third quarter, but not so much here to start the fourth. Really struggling from the floor, just two out of 10. Oregon State has hit eight three-pointers today, eight out of 21. The Gamecocks was four for 19. The winner on to the final four next Friday. On the floor for the Gamecocks, Tessa Johnson, Raven Johnson, Ashlyn Watkins, Camilla Cardoso, Greasy Hall. It'll be Carolina ball in the front court. They've got 16 on the shot clock. Really need a bucket here. Lead is just four. Raven will trigger it in. Hunter in front of her. Got to hurry to avoid the five. Gets it up top to Breezy. Back right side to Raven. Down low, Camilla. Back out, Tessa. Tessa on that dribble drive with the left hand. Floats it up and in. She's fouled. Help the basket. Chance for a three-point play. And it's 64-58. Tessa Johnson in double figures off the bench. The freshman with 10 points. My goodness. There's Tessa at the line for the first time today. For the and one to try to make it a three possession game, and she does. 65 58 with 329 and counting. Hunter will bring it up, guarded by Raven. Gets it across the March Madness logo. Work it right side to the three point shooter, Hansford. Guarded by Tessa. Inside to Gardner. Elbow jumper, no good. Rebound Watkins, and the Gamecocks have it. Now the Gamecocks want to slow it down. Now is not the time to get the fast break going. Work some clock. Raven will get it across. Guarded closely by Hunter. Up top to Camilla. Camilla will hand it off to Breezy. Top of the circle. Ten seconds to shoot it. She'll drive. Had her shot blocked by Beers. And the Beavers come out of there with it. Hunter on the drive right side. Hands it back to Gardner. 2.48 to play. The lead is seven. Then all Hoffman up top, guarded by Watkins. Puts it on the floor, driving right side, cut off on the low block. Out to Hanford, open look at three, finally missed one. Rebound Watkins, Gamecocks again got caught up in the screen action and gave her a good look, but she didn't knock it down. She hit four of them earlier. Gamecocks lead still seven with 2.25 to play. Raven dribbling right side. Trip to the final four on the line. Raven up top to Tessa Johnson, shot clock at 10. Down low Camilla, working again against Spears. Shot up, no good, couldn't finish. Oregon State with the rebound. Needed that one. 2.05 to play. Oregon State with the basketball. South Carolina leads it 65-58. Hunter on the dribble drive, back up top to Beers. Now top of the circle is Gardner, 15 to shoot it. Time to drive into the lane against Watkins. Swatted away by Ashlyn Watkins, and then it's tied up on the rebound. Held ball, possession to South Carolina. Ashlyn Swatkins with her third block of the day, and it was a big one. Gamecock fans on their feet. 1.51 to play. Gamecock's lead is seven. 
Raven Johnson will walk it up. Picked up by Hunter in the man to man as she crosses the logo. Dribbling to her left. And Cox will work as much clock as possible. Shot clock is already halfway down to 15. Up top to Breezy now. Breezy. Dribbling right. Under 10 on the shot clock. Tessa, three ball right wing. Airballed that one out into the baseline. Second air ball from Tessa today. So it goes back to the Beavers with 125 to play. Coach is screaming at the Gamecocks to match up. Hunter around the screen to her right. Drives across the baseline. Zips it to Van Allhoffen. Three-pointer. Won't go down from the corner. Big rebound for Camilla. 110 to play. Gamecocks have it. Lead is seven. Up top, Cardoso. The Beavers not fouling yet. Here's Raven right side. South Carolina fans on their feet. 13 on the shot clock. Seven-point lead. Raven around a screen from Camilla. Ten to shoot it. Pulls up. Missed it from the free throw line. Rebound, Camilla. Stick back won't go down. Rebound out of bounds to the Beavers. 47.7 seconds to go. I thought Camilla might pull that one back out. But she was close to the basket, thought she could get the basket with all the arms around her. It made it a tough four-foot shot. So don't blame her for taking the shot, although in retrospect, it would have been better if she pulled it out to work some more clock. Timeout taken with 47.7 seconds to play. We'll keep it right here. And they're going to review this, I believe, to see who touched it last. So no timeout take. It's just going to review who touched it last. 47.7 seconds to play. South Carolina leads Oregon State 65 to 58. The winner is on to the final four. Gamecocks had a 14-point lead in the third quarter. But the Beavers have fought back like you knew they would. They got it down to six a few moments ago. Or got it down to four, I should say, a few moments ago. Or the Gamecocks able to stretch it out a little more, but not over yet. The winner's on to the Final Four. The semifinals will be Friday in Cleveland. National Championship a week from today. And we'll review. See whose ball it is. And the possession is Oregon State's. What we thought it was to begin with, but they looked at it. It was closer than I thought after looking at the replay. The Oregon State ball will have to go the length of the floor with 48.2 seconds to play. Gamecocks lead is seven. You don't want to foul and give them a three-point play, obviously. Gamecocks will pick up in the backcourt. Then Allhoffen gets it in, and she moved on the baseline. Yes, she did. Gamecocks will have it. Van Allhoffen ran the baseline. She thought it was a made basket, but it was not. It was off the deflection. You can't run the baseline. You can only run it after a made basket. So that's a turnover. Carolina ball. A critical mistake there by Talia Van Allhoffen. It'll be South Carolina ball. Now you got to inbound. And at this point, Oregon State's going to have to foul if they don't get the steal. They've still got one to give before the bonus. Raven will trigger it in, baseline right side. Gets it in to Camilla, hands it back to Raven. Raven is going to be fouled. That's just the fourth team foul as Donovan Hunter picks up the foul. That's her fourth. So with 45.4 seconds to play, Gamecocks again need to inbound. If they can do that successfully, Oregon State will be forced to foul. They want to get a sub in probably to foul Kennedy Schuler will pick up Hunter they want to get Hunter back in there if they get the ball back because he's got four fouls they don't want her to commit another foul they'll get AJ Marat in as well for Gardner Carolina ball they'll trigger it in across the way in front of our own bench they'll, say, they'll get Perova in for beers one at a time they get their subs in here Finally, Raven will get the trigger it in. 45.4 seconds to play. It's a seven-point lead for the Gamecocks. A birth in the final four on the line. Trigger in to Tessa, and she's fouled by Lily Hansford. 
Hanford will pick up her second. And two big free throws coming up here for Tessa Johnson. Tessa with 11 points today. Only two Gamecocks in double figures today. As all those players that just went out will come back in for Oregon State after the foul. And all those that went out were in foul trouble with three or four fouls. So here's Tessa at the line. To try to build on a seven point lead, makes the first one. And it's 66-58 with 44.5 seconds to play. Second free throw, yes ma'am, and it's 67-58 with 44.5 seconds to play. Here comes Hunter the other way. Drives right side, kick it out to Hansford for three, right wing, missed it. Rebound, Watkins, and the game Cox have it. 35 seconds to play, and a foul by Hansford as Greasy crosses the timeline. And that'll send us to the line for two more free throws, but the Gamecocks 32.3 seconds away from another trip to the final four. Looking for their sixth trip in 10 years and fourth in a row. Some smiles starting to creep across the Gamecock faces. Breezy Hall at the line for two. First free throw is good. It gives her 10 points, and it's a 10-point lead. One more time for Breezy. Missed the second one. Rebound to Gardner, and a timeout taken by Oregon State. So 31.3 seconds to play. It's a 10-point lead for South Carolina. We'll keep it right here and remind you one more time that Gamecock family, if you're ready to break free from hidden fees and impersonal service, Optus Bank is here for you. They're headquartered in Columbia, and they offer competitive rates, personalized service, and convenient mobile banking. They care about you and our community, and they've been transforming opportunities into wealth since 1921, so check them out. 31.3 seconds to play here in the Elite Eight. The winner's on to the final four. South Carolina leads 12th ranked Oregon State, 68 to 58. Gamecock looking for their fourth straight trip to the final four and sixth in the last 10 years. On the floor for the Gamecocks. Breezy Hall, Tessa Johnson, Raven Johnson, Ashlyn Watkins, Camilla Cardoso. It'll be Oregon State ball in the forecourt after the timeout. They have one timeout remaining. They go all the way across the floor to Beers. Back out to Hansford for three right side. In and out, no good. Rebound Watkins. And a timeout taken by the Gamecocks after the rebound. Ashlyn Watkins with another big board there. And the Beavers finally cooled off from three-point range. A more contested shot there for Hansford, who had hit four of them, but she's missed her last two. Gamecocks take the timeout. They've got each team has one remaining. So again, the Gamecocks just have to inbound. The Beavers will have to foul, but right now the Gamecocks closing this thing out, currently on a 6-0 run to take a 10-point lead. If the Beavers don't get the steal, they'll have to foul, and then it just becomes academic after that. Gamecocks started to pull away in the third quarter. Thanks to a 12-0 run, the Beavers got back within four. And now the Gamecocks on a bit of a run to stretch it back out to double figures. On the floor, Tessa Johnson, Raven Johnson, Breezy Hall, Camilla Cardoso, Ashlyn Watkins. Raven will bring it in on the far sideline. Got Perova in front of her, 26 seconds to play. And a foul as we tried to get it into Tessa Johnson and she was shoved from behind by, by Van Allhoffen. And Tessa will go to the line again. The freshman leading the Gamecocks today off the bench with 13 points. Her season high is 16. She hit a couple of big threes during that run in the third quarter. Hit a couple of free throws a moment ago as well. Foul was on Van Olhoff in her second. Tessa at the line here. 26 seconds, 26 on the game. So here's Tessa Johnson at the strike once they make sure the clock was correct. First of two, nothing but net. Smooth stroke by the freshman. 11-point lead now. Second free throw. 
Got them both. He's five for five today. 70 to 58. Gamecocks are 20 seconds away from another Final Four. Here's Schuler driving in the lane. Missed the layup, rebound Raven, and that'll do it. They're not going to foul. Gamecocks are going to dribble out the clock. South Carolina is back where they belong. The Gamecocks are in the Final Four for the fourth consecutive year and sixth time in 10 seasons. Gamecocks knock off Oregon State 70 to 58. We're headed to Cleveland. The Gamecocks are on the way to the Final Four. Crowd on their feet. Celebration around the bench. The Gamecocks hold off the 12th ranked Beavers. And the season continues. For the fourth straight year, the Gamecocks are in the Final Four. They dispatch Oregon State 70 to 58.